we're just about to do some weighing and measuring with our um, young Temistema, um, which is a freshwater species of crocodile from Southeast Asia. Um, we are very, very fortunate to be able to work with a young group like this, and being the only people in Europe in the last 10 years or so um, to hatch this particular species. So it makes what we're about to do even more important. We take lots of information for data collections and we find out how long and heavy the animals are and we're very happy to be working with them. We're going to do around about uh, two or three of the group today as, as they've all been done at different times. So as far as Temistema go, they're quite a laid back species of croc. So we're not going to be too worried, um, particularly at the size that they're at, but we have obviously got to find them as well. We try to make this as, as quick and as stress free as possible for the animal. There's our animal right there. There we go. So this guy will come along. And obviously then we've got our, our box that these guys go in. So it's nice and dark, it feels nice and safe for them. The one that we had was a bit of a medium sized one. So for a good average, I'm gonna go for this larger one over here. A bit stronger, a little bit bigger. So we've got a little one just on the left hand side over here. So we're gonna go for, maybe not that one, <laughs> he's gone. There we go, buddy. Perfect. Cool, so we've got our three to miss them up. We're now gonna head down to our offshore area. Um, we've got our, what's known as our VIP room. A bit easier at this size than the mum and dad. So this is basically how we do it. So we said it's a much smaller scale than what we do with the, with the bigger ones. Get the little crocs nose up against the end there, right up to the end, and then we'll find out just how long they actually are. So we got, we go from smallest to largest. There's our little one. You see these guys are great. You've got that really long, thin snout, particularly when you look from the top there. So this size, they're catching, like most young crocs really, lots of insects and freshwater reptiles potentially, and amphibians and things like that. So we'll butt his nose up against the end. There we go. And hopefully behaves for us. He's pretty much exactly 730 millimeters. We can write that down. This guy's very willing to sit here and chill out. Find out his weight. There you go, buddy. So 654. So we do see a bit of a, a bit of a difference within the group as well. So although they've got the same parents, we still get a few animals that grow a bit bigger and a bit faster than some of the others. So there he goes. So I think one thing that people forget about is the amount of actual record keeping that's involved with, with the animals. So we have to, you know, we do this with animals every single month under a certain size. We know how much food's been going in because we keep record of that. And we know exactly how much they're growing because we've got records of that. It's another thing we keep records of is what the animals have been doing and what behaviors we've been seeing. So all of this helps to give us a much broader picture as to um, how we're caring for the animals and just ensuring we're doing uh, as great a job as possible as we can do. 